Even the smallest projects can contain big ideas. Today, I am reviewing this book, What is Small Scale Architecture by Archive Books. In the last few years, many competitions have geared towards small scale architecture, from cabins, houses, to sleep pods and observation towers. Thinking of space in small scale is a challenge in itself. We are used to wanting to design big projects, skyscrapers, high lines, master plans, and gigantic cultural centers. But when confronting ourselves on a small scale project, we face other types of problems, materiality, construction method, costs, and dimensions. So I ask you, do you know how to approach a small scale project as an architect? To be honest, this isn't exactly my forte as a designer, but I am sure that this book will give me an idea of how to approach it better. This book, released last year, is divided in three parts. First, feature company interviews, second, opinions and essays, and third, design projects. Perhaps what makes this book the most interesting is exactly these three parts. You can see real built projects from renowned offices like Design Matter or Snowheada. You can also see soon to be built projects or projects that participated in small scale architectural competitions. Here you can find inspiration for future projects and also the representation of small scale ones. And of course, if you want to see the more poetic side of it, there are essays and short opinion texts on small scale architecture. This can guide you to understanding much more on the topic and it can help define your design approach within a small scale architecture. As always in these book reviews, I would like to show you a bit inside the book and give you a taste of what you can find and the parts that I like the most. Before we go inside the content, let's check out the book, its design and aesthetic. It is a relatively large book in width and in height, but also in page quantity. In total, it has 256 pages filled with high quality photographs, architecture drawings, and text. On the cover, you can notice a minimal design with the center title and an aerial image of floating islands in Denmark, a project realized by Marshall Bletcher in 2018. Of course, it would be contradictory to have a dense array of projects on the cover when covering a topic as minimal as small scale architecture. So it's very coherent and evocative to see an island, a man, a tree, and its boat. The whole color palette of the book follows a warm yellow and gray aesthetic. Also, each project presented towards the end has its own personal color palette. On the inside, the quality of the paper is very high. And this is something that you can notice when seeing the full bleed photographs of the build projects, the illustrative renders of some competition winners, and also detailed sections showing the constructive detail of each project. One of the built projects that I liked the most was, of course, the project by Snohera. This is the Norwegian Wild Reindeer Center Pavilion, located about 350 kilometers north of Oslo. The 90 square meter pavilion was designed in 2011 to offer shelter to school groups and other visitors. It is a small project made of steel, glass, and wood. The emphasis was put on the quality and durability of materials that could withstand the harsh mountain climate. We wanted to make something simple by limiting the number of materials for ease of construction and at the same time create a shelter from wind and rain that could act as a camera lens into the habitat of the reindeer. If we analyze the project, we see a constant contrast among different elements. A rigid outer shell and glass to protect in contrast with a soft organically shaped inner core made of wood, orthogonal outer facades versus a curvilinear limitless interior. A small scale architecture humbly standing in the center of a vast natural landscape. As Snohera puts it, 
the benefit of working on a smaller scale project is the possibility to be hands on in all the decisions that together make up the quality of the final result. Just like this pavilion, the first part of the book contains many built projects in different conditions and uses that have photos, plans, and most importantly, a direct interview with the architects in charge. The most common issues when faced with the project and some general thoughts. The second part contains opinion pieces and essays regarding small scale architecture. Some of the ones that stood out the most were first a text on balconies by Lebanese architects. In a way, it was reminiscent of how an architectural element can have a universe of itself and all the activity that can happen from there. The Umbrella Colony was perhaps one of the most interesting texts in this second part. In a very concise manner, it presents us with how the umbrella is the lowest level of urbanism and its expression of a socio-economic lifestyle, finding itself in between the formal and informal economy. The umbrella defines third world economies in a nutshell, and it is a valid artisan way of creating small scale architecture with basic tools. Others that stood out as well was floating sails on Paris roof plots that approaches housing from a Yona Friedman type perspective. Architecture for Trash by Nick Tobier, who analyzes and questions the small architecture done for keeping or hiding the trash. A banal and overlooked activity is questioned in such a way that kind of makes you want to design a dumpster in the most beautiful way. Finally, on the third and final part of the book, we can find design projects of a small scale that have been presented mostly through competitions of the last few years, and some of them even have won numerous prizes. As always, seeing competition proposals gives me a constant inspiration to participate in more competitions and also graphic inspiration for my ongoing graphic projects. Some of the best projects that I really, really enjoyed seeing was the Invisible Project, the Funambulist Landscape, the Black Bots, the Solo Cabin, the Nest, The Compact House, Floating Books, and Iceland Trekking Cabins. So overall, I think it is a very complete book on the topic of small scale architecture. Remember that if you want to purchase this book, we will have a link in the description for you guys to purchase and also have this in your library. If you are someone that really likes small scale architecture, putting attention to each detail in your project, then this book is definitely for you. Also, if you want more book reviews, let me know in the comments because I would love to do more videos on architectural books. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.